Hello, welcome to today's Bible update from the National Mall. I'm walking down the mall from David's tent that I just came out of. David's tent is over here. And uh, there's Capitol Building. But walking down to Lincoln Memorial, it's about a mile and a half down the way. Looks so much closer than that until you start walking and realize how long it takes to get there. <laughs> but uh, I'm praising God today and thankful to be down here. So many people on the National Mall turn the camera. And let's see. If I don't zoom in so much, we won't get quite as much bounce in my camera. But uh, anyway, I've been reading through the Bible today. Of course, you know that I've been posting every day about the Bible readings of the day. And uh, I'm going to go back into the Old Testament again because uh, we continue with a kind of uh, off colored prophet because he wasn't a prophet from Israel. He wasn't Jewish, but he was indeed a prophet. And he did indeed prophesy what the Lord asked him to prophesy. And if you remember yesterday, we talked about Balaam's donkey talking because the angel of the Lord was going to strike him down. Well, tomorrow we'll find out why the angel of the Lord wanted to strike him down because he's not going to follow what the angel of the Lord told him to do. Speak nothing other than he had told him. But today, he was asked to pronounce a curse on the children of Israel in three different locations. He told them in each location, set up seven altars, kill seven bulls and seven I think it was rams and they did that and then he prophesied what the lord had told him to say at each location and balak balaam wanted uh balak wanted balaam to pronounce a curse upon the children of israel but all three times balaam pronounced a blessing and Balak was furious so I brought you all the way up here and all three times when I've asked you to curse the children of Israel you pronounced a blessing and he said I can't say a word other than what the Lord has told me to proclaim and so as you know, the Lord wants us to bless the children of Israel. And uh, the Lord said, He will bless those who bless thee, speaking of the nation of Israel. And uh, a pastor that I love, that I've been listening to, and I've been challenging you to go onto my YouTube page and in the playlist is Chuck Missler and go through the Bible in 24 hours and uh, in I believe it was session 4 the 4th hour of that was uh, in the book of Genesis he questioned why God hadn't brought judgment on America because he brought fire down on Sodom and Gomorrah and uh, and Billy Graham had he had mentioned Billy Graham had rightfully said that if God doesn't judge America that he owes Sodom and Gomorrah an apology and so Chuck Missler said he believes the only reason that God hasn't judged America is that we have been a blessing to Israel. And uh, I think that time has come to an end now. I don't believe that the current administration 
plans on being a blessing to Israel and that they are going to try to pronounce a curse on Israel but whatever you seek to do to Israel ends up being a curse upon yourself even as when uh, Esther's uh, uncle who was her surrogate father I guess you'd say Mordecai was going to be hung on the gallows uh, by Haman, an evil uh, right-hand man of the king of Persia. And uh, as it was, instead of Mordecai being hung on the gallows, Haman got hung on his own gallows, him and his family. So... So it's crazy the way things work that way, but God knows how to turn the tables on the wicked people. And so, just believe that He will do that for you, even when you don't know how, that God will turn the tables for you and intervene for you. So, that was our story of... Balaam for the day out of the Old Testament. In the New Testament, we start in the book of John today. And so, John chapter 1 starts off, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. All things were created by him and for him all things were created nothing was created that was not created by him and the light shined into darkness but the darkness did not comprehend it and then John said that they beheld his glory the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. And what I skipped over was John the Baptist. And John the Baptist said that he came to prepare the way for the Lord. And the Pharisees sent messengers out to John and they said, Who are you? Why do you do these things? He said, I'm the voice of the one crying out in the wilderness. Prepare ye the way for the Lord. And he baptized everybody that came to him in a baptism of repentance. That prepares your life to receive Jesus Christ as your Savior. When you repent from your sins, you're able and prepared to be able to walk in the way of the Lord. Have you made Jesus Christ your Lord? Are you beholding His glory in your life. The glory of the only begotten of the Father. Full of grace and truth. Or are you walking in your own path? Doing things your own way. And there's only one way with the Lord. And that is to honor God's word. So if you love me. You'll keep my commandments, and I'll pray to the Father, and He will send you the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth. And that is what Jesus wants for you. He wants to be your Lord. He will lead and guide your life if you let Him. Have you done it? It's so simple.
just to pray to God and tell him that you're sorry for your sin. We have all sinned. The book of First John says if we say that we haven't sinned, we make God a liar and the truth is not in us. So, you know that we're all born as sinners. We didn't have to learn how to sin. We immediately said, everything belongs to me. It's all mine, mine, mine. And we'll steal and we'll take what doesn't belong to us and we'll cheat and we'll lie to save face and Jesus said put all of that garbage away and make me the Lord of your life and I will honor you and I will lift you up when we try to lift ourselves up it's just stinking filthy rags the Bible says our our righteousness is nothing but filthy rags so I pray that you'll pray today if you haven't before to ask Jesus to forgive you your sins and to come into your life and be the Lord of your life and to send the Holy Spirit who can lead and guide you into all truth and let me know you made that decision and we can rejoice together and I praise God and I thank you for tuning in tonight and I hope that you will have a blessed evening in Jesus name Amen